And we're keeping our eyes on Washington, D.C., a live look where the protesters are gathered outside of the Supreme Court after this decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. We'll continue our coverage of this landmark decision coming up just later on in the newscast. Right now, I want to go to Dr. David Winter. We kind of switched gears. We normally talk to you on Friday. This big decision, we wanted to bring you on. Tell us, how does this decision impact the healthcare industry? Yeah, Chris, whether you're for abortions or not, abortions will continue. I think it's going to be disruptive. Women who want an abortion will have to go to different states, maybe different countries, or worse still, to maybe illegal facilities or substandard facilities, but uh, it's going to be disruptive indeed. We'll have to see how, how the country adapts to this. There's been a lot of talk about the impact this could have on doctors who perform abortions here in Texas. Has there been any talk among the doctors that you know who do these procedures about how they're reacting to this? No, Chris, I don't know any physicians who do that, but certainly it will impact them. But most of those physicians are trained in women's care, so they can go back to doing, uh, taking care of women without abortions. So I, I don't see that as a major disruption to, to most of them. So um, it'll be disruptive, though, to the women primarily. I think more to the women than to the medical profession. Was there any preparation for this decision? We talked about how this leak came out Back in May, potentially the person who leaked it was trying to give everyone the heads up that this was coming. Did you hear about any preparations or procedures being put in place expecting this to come down? No, Chris, and a lot of hospitals don't, do, don't perform abortions now anyway. A lot of facilities don't do this. So it was a small niche of physicians that do this, and uh, they just have to find other things to do, I think, with their skills. But, uh, we'll have to respect the law and we'll, we'll have to adapt to this, though it will certainly be disruptive. And as far as who this affects, obviously primarily women, have you heard any concerns from them? Have there been any inquiries uh, just from what you can tell in the healthcare field of just women being concerned about what their rights may or may not be going forward? Yeah, I've heard some women, they are concerned about what their options are. And this is the brand new information today, of course, and those women will be looking for options indeed, but it's a new world out there. And um, we'll have to adapt as a, as a country and as a medical profession, and the women will have to find ways they can get done uh, what they, they want to have done. Absolutely. All right, Dr. David Winter, thank you so much for providing this perspective and yeah, this, you as you mentioned, new world that we just entered this morning. Thank you.